Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, following, of course, the Gigabyte um, problem of security. I decided that it was a good idea to show you how to go to your BIOS or UEFI BIOS, depending on the machine you have, in Windows 10. So, three ways in general, but one will be the sure way as the last option I'm going to show you. The first one, F key. On your keyboard, you got a rows of F key on the top. On some manufacturers, on some computers, one of those F keys, just as you boot up when you start your PC before Windows starts, if you press one of the F keys, it might actually bring you to the BIOS uh, key or give you an option for that. And uh, it could be F11, F8, F2, uh, some are the delete key. It really depends on the manufacturer and even within the manufacturers, some of them have changed the key over time so just to make things even more you know complicated for everyone now on a lot of PCs that doesn't work and on this PC it doesn't work so what's the other options option number two is that you go to your start menu and then you go into the power here before you click restart what you're going to do is hold the left shift key on your keyboard and hold it. Now, on some machines, both shift work, but make sure that you use the left one. On some PCs, it's the only one that does work. So shift key, you hold it, you click restart, and you'll be sent to the advanced boot options at the restart. If you're not, because some PCs, it doesn't work, then the last option is the official one, fail safe, it works for everyone. Go to your start menu, Settings app, go into the update and security, recovery on the left side of your screen, and here you'll have advanced startup, click restart now. This will bring you to the advanced boot options. Once you restart, this is what it's going to look like. Here, you're going to select the troubleshoot option. Next screen, you're going to choose advanced options. Next screen, you're going to choose UEFI firmware settings. And then you're going to be asked to restart. And you'll be to your BIOS or UEFI BIOS that could look like this. It could be very different than this. Each manufacturer, and also depending on the age of your PC, will have a different type of screen. But you are there, and this is where you can make changes if you wish to do changes for some reason. And uh, just, um, you know, know that uh, if you don't know what you're doing, try to avoid doing any changes here. And um, basically, be careful what you do because it could make major changes within your computer. So, this is how you do it. If you uh, enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.